Who is this Mickey Truth girl? Who qualifies her to put a work on these people? What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Mickey Truth, aka the queen of paperwork, and I am back with another video. As always, all information contained in this video is for entertainment educational purposes only. All information used in this video is per the Fair Use Act, and any conclusion that you draw is on you, not me. So let's get it. All right, y'all. So before we kick this off, let's make sure we get an understanding, okay? Because this, at this point in the YNW Melly case, okay, the Fourth Amendment is what's the grounds for a lot that's happening right now. And let me tell you, although it's not a slam dunk for the defense, they made some leeway in the state. Listen, Broward County, okay, ain't feeling it. They're like, yo, judge, respectfully, okay? No, 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 no. We need a new, a new hearing for this because it's no way you just did that based on the Fourth Amendment right situation. But before we get into all that, what does the Fourth Amendment right mean? And again, y'all, just go to the United States courts. That's it. Just go to your federal website and you can find this out, okay? But it says here, okay, the Constitution through the Fourth Amendment protects people from unreasonable searches and seizures by the government. The Fourth Amendment, however, is not a guarantee against all searches and seizures, but only those that are deemed unreasonable under the law. Ooh. Deemed unreasonable under the law. All right. Let's read a little bit more, okay? Whether a particular type of search is considered reasonable in the eyes of the law is determined by balancing two important entrants. On one side of the scale is intrusion on the individual's Fourth Amendment rights. On the other side of the scale are legitimate government interests such as public safety. The extent to which an individual is protected by the Fourth Amendment depends in part on the location of the search or seizure, okay? And it breaks down home, a person, schools, cars. That's it. So let's just go with a person. I mean, I don't even know what would it fall under, to be honest. Because a cell phone or a person's business is definitely um, different. I don't even know. Maybe that's the gray area because I don't even know. <laughs> it's not one we can click on. But nevertheless, okay, let's get into why, okay, I am talking about that. For those who may not have been following the YNW Melly trial or a case or maybe not watching TV or anything like that, YNW Melly is currently facing a double homicide, okay, on top of witness tampering. But right now, the focus on, is on the double murder case, okay? Now, listen, one thing about this case, even if you haven't been following it from the beginning, is it's heavily, heavily based on, guess what, cell phones, social media, things like that. So when you start talking about Fourth Amendment rights, uh, you got to kind of be a little nervous if you're on the state side of things because your whole case all the way from the beginning was based on cell phone, social media, things like that. So when a recent filing or order was issued by the judge in this case, the state had to reply and they replied heavily, 53 pages. OK, now we're going to get to the meat and potatoes in this video. But I do have a live coming. We're going to break down everything and have that discussion. And I need all my Melly set to pull up. You know, I love when y'all pull up because we get to the business. OK, so listen, let's talk about it. Fourth Amendment. How can your Fourth Amendment be violated when it comes to emails? Right. It's your private email. Right? It's not something that anybody can log on to and see. It's your private email. So, your Fourth Amendment definitely holds a boundary there, right? Another thing, what about your social media? How is your social media part of your Fourth Amendment? Again, because they're private. However, okay, as we know, with any other case, not just this case, the feds, the state, the law enforcement, everybody 
that's in that field, definitely going to go to your sheet first and foremost. If they don't do nothing else first, they're going to pull your phone records. They're going to get into your social media. So this is no different. But let's get into why the state is like, hey, yo, 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 Judge Murphy, pump your brakes. Let's get into it. Now, this document is in reply to the judge order on motion to suppress 1 through 13 for the defense side, right? Part of this standing for them, they're saying that the honorable court has overlooked or misapprehended several matters of fact and law as laid out in infra, okay? Further, the state requests the court to reconsider its ruling. A trial court has the inherent power to reconsider a ruling made on a motion to suppress upon appropriate motion by either counsel why that court Again, look, basically they're saying, hey, we respect you, Judge Murphy, but you definitely dropped the ball, and we need you to look back at that, okay? And part of looking back at that, they are going over a couple things here, right? So let's get into it. So one of the first motions, right, that they're looking at is motion to suppress number three, which is the iCloud, which the judge, okay, Again, said, hey, I'm going to let y'all do it, but it's limited to the time frame of October 26, 2018, which is the day of the homicide, only between the hours of 3 a.m. and 9 a.m., meaning y'all can get anything y'all need off that iCloud, but only through that time frame. Why would the state have an issue with it, Right? And I'm going to be honest, it's going to be the same almost on every one because a lot of their evidence is beyond that time frame. That time frame is not going to pinpoint that indeed this is YNW Melly's phone or YNW Melly's um, iCloud. Like they need more so that they can show like we saw at the trial the first time. They can show the history, the word, and how it's said. That's why that's important for them to get that extended out, okay? The iCloud is everything to this case, to be honest. And again, I'm saying my opinion for sure, but y'all review. I got a bunch of videos, a bunch of lives, you know, rewatch the trial. They talk about it a lot, a lot, a lot, okay? Next is motion to suppress number four, Snapchat, okay? Now, with this, again, the judge say you're good. Y'all got it, okay? However, the time frame, again, is the day of the homicides between 3 a.m. and 9 a.m. Although the warrants requested time frame was October 1st, 2018 through November 25th, 2018. But again, if we go back to the Fourth Amendment, is that reasonable, okay? Is that reasonable to want the... Uh, the data from Snapchat way a month later, not a month before, but a month later. Is that absurd? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the chat. Now, Snapchat is very important because not only does Snapchat come up in the beginning when, um, Wither said, hey, he sent me a message through Snapchat that they claim they can't find, Right. But also a conversation later on, allegedly, right, between YNW Melly and his girlfriend at the time that he kind of alluded to the fact that possibly he did, him and Borton did something and, you know, he'll take him with him forever. It's not verbatim. But, you know what I'm saying? So that would be important to keep that Snapchat in. But, hey, the judge says right now, no, you can look for Snapchat between 3 a.m. and 9 a.m. The next one is motion to suppress number six, Facebook. And again, they limit the search, all right? And But this time, the search time frame is October 26, 2018. Again, the day of the homicide through January 8th, 2019, which is the day of the warrant, okay? And the state like, no, 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 run that shit back. But again, as of right now, that is where it stands, okay? The next one, motion to suppress number seven, Instagram. And again, the search time frame is October 26th through January 15, 2019, which is the day of the warrant. Next, motion to suppress number 11, Apple iPhone X IME0369. Now, this goes from time frame wise 
the day of the homicides through February 12, 2019. Do you know why this in particular will cause an issue for the state as they try this case? Because a lot of the data that they was using, a lot of the records that they was using off of that phone was prior to the homicides. Remember, all the text messages that they had allegedly between YNW Melly and uh, I don't even remember the blood guy that they were saying was responding back and forth. That was before the drug deals or the, you know, how much is this amount of weight? It's been a minute, y'all. I can't remember verbatim. But, you know, those text messages, okay, that's before the homicides, right? So, from the homicide up until YNW Melly surrendered himself, hey, they can get it from the phone. But anything before that, mm-mm. Now, it still is in question again. The iPhone XX, remember, it's two different phones. The phone that YNW Melly allegedly, okay, had the night of the murders and the phone they actually retrieved from his manager 100K track. It's two different iPhone 10s. All right, now I can't tell you off the top of my head which one is this one, but that's that, okay? Next is motion to suppress 12, two Gmail accounts. And again, the limited to the search time frame is October 26th through November 1st, 2018. If y'all recall that I think it was book YNW Melly or YNW Booking, some Melly Booking, Again, y'all, I don't have it in front of me, but whatever those emails were, remember the whole game Bible and stuff came through the email, all that. That could put a damper not only on whatever else they got off the Gmails, but the whole game tie thing that the Take the Polo was trying to put together on the stand. So, you know, keep it moving with that one. And next, motion to suppress Gmail number two. I think they suppressed the whole thing, to be honest. Because it says honorable court has overlooked and misapprehended several matters of fact and law in the suppression of all the evidence from the search warrant. So that search warrant is out. So whatever email that's linked to is out. Done data. Okay. So again, it's, it's going to hurt. It's definitely going to hurt. Okay. <laughs> For sure. Now, will they get this back is the question. I don't know. We'll have to wait for that time to come. However, if they do not get standing back on this, if they don't get this evidence placed back in, this is my opinion. I'm not going to say that case is done. It's going to be harder, though, because now they have to piece together all these theories and things that they had this whole time with a, with limited info. So now you don't even have... The messages allegedly between YNW Melly and YNW Melly's mom, right? About the gun. You don't have the conversation between YNW Melly allegedly and one of the victims about payment or like how they giving up money. You don't have that as it stands right now. That is not allowed to enter trial at this moment. Remember the last time they had stuff taken out, pictures and stuff like that. So this is not even going to trial. All these things that we know from the first trial is not going in. If it stands, will Judge Murphy decide to go back on his ruling? Only time will tell. But for now, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to pull up on your girl, Mickey Truth. And yes, I will be live next week. We're going to break all this down and really chop it down. Y'all already know. Donations are welcome. Dollar sign Mickey Truth on 2022 on Cash App. Holla! No matter what you go through, do what you got to do and conquer the world.